Hi, it's James from Monster Finger Games. Just wanted to, to do a quick video on optimizing for Android. So, um, us at Monster Finger Games, me and Stu, uh, have done a lot of work on the U year since it came out. Uh, and as such, we've also had a lot of headaches as well, uh, releasing the likes of um, Super Renegade Response, uh, Rush Hour Mayhem, and other titles as well. Now, I just wanted to uh, show you a few quick tips and also a few things not to do when you're creating an Android title using Clicked in Fusion. So, let's start by looking at this wonderful cow. Okay, so, as you can see, the bounding box of this cow is huge. Never do that when you're creating an Android title. In my experience, it really slows down the performance. So, we'll go down, click crop. Click OK. Always make sure all of your images are as small as they physically can be um, and make sure that there's no empty gaps. Uh, another thing to look out for, quick backdrops. Try to avoid them wherever you can. Um, quick backdrops, especially if you're using the motif so that you can expand on those, they slow it down no end. And oddly, uh, certainly oddly to me when I did it, um, it actually will run faster using lots of active objects um, as the background, as opposed to actually using a background object. It just, for some reason, just doesn't like them. Um, on to uh, our little fella here from an unreleased title. Um, now, as you can see, he's semi-transparent at the moment, and the transparency has been done through the properties. Now, again, completely avoid doing anything in the property section. If you're going to make any semi-transparencies, always make sure you do it in the level editor, which is uh, obviously as so. So, for example, if he was doing a start of frame, or, well, in fact, probably in all ways, most likely better, um, and you would uh, go to the visibility, either always make object invisible, or you could go to effect, compatibility, set trans semi-transparency and then set your transparency there also there's a lot more cool tricks and things like that you can do uh, when you're using the event editor anyway so that's uh, our next tip let's go back to our standard screen so let's go into the properties uh, what you'll always have in any android application okay so there's a few things here that can also speed up your game as well uh, so smooth resizing no need to use that, especially if you're making retro games anyway. So you can remove that. Um, also, um, image compression. If you can get away with it, and to be honest, it hardly ever really looks that different, um, always do colour reduction. It's really important, and that should hopefully speed up your, uh, your Android titles a little bit more.